In this video I'm going to show you how to set out and cut these so your tray can slope down and onto another surface. You could also do the, the other way around, it could be going up and over an obstacle. To achieve this we're going to set out 30mm and 10mm and 10mm and by 50 and 10 and 10. These back marks with the strikes down are telling me they're bends when they are not cuts. They're simply to ensure that our lines and our V cuts marry up on the other side so that it will bend down straight, otherwise it will bend down at an angle one way or the other. So mark out our first measurement, 30mm. Then 10 millimetres, another 10, then 50, and 10. From those marks we'll mark vertically down on both sides to give ourselves a centre line to work on. Now we're ready to make some cuts. Place the device so a steel rule will fit in there. That means when you do your cuts you will take out that curve. So first we have three straight cuts. cuts are V cuts. So we've done these three straight cuts, the next three cuts will be these V cuts. They allow the tray to return. If it helps you, you can draw on these V cuts or just literally mark them out with a saw and do it by eye. As long as you meet that bottom apex, get in the habit of filing your cuts straight after doing them, you have less chance of cutting yourself handling the metal. Now we go to do the other side.
Now your two sides are cut. They should line up on the back at their apex. You're ready to bend. File all of your cuts. Bend, lean the piece over the edge of the bench, and then work around and bring it back until it's the height that you require. In this case, we're going for 30 mil. So I can close that up a little bit to 30 mil. 